Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the last video, we discussed the theory, mechanism and synthetic applications of Duckin oxidation reaction. Click on the i button on top right of this video to watch it. I have given the links for the other related topics in the description below this video. Watch them. In this lesson, we shall learn the theory, mechanism and synthetic applications of Beckman rearrangement reaction. The Beckman rearrangement is named after the German chemist Ernest Otto Beckman. It is a rearrangement reaction of an oxime functional group to substituted amides. Thus, the rearrangement of oxymes under the influence of acidic reagents to yield N substituted carboxylic amides is called the Beckman rearrangement reaction. The reaction is usually applied to ketoxymes and aldoxymes are often less reactive. The rearrangement has also been successfully performed on haloimines and nitrones. Cyclic oxymes, for example cyclohexanone as shown in the reaction and haloimines yield lactams. The Beckman rearrangement is often catalyzed by acid such as concentrated sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, hydrogen fluoride, phosphoric acid, etc. However, other reagents have been known to promote the rearrangement. These include tocyl chloride, thionyl chloride, phosphorus pentachloride, phosphorus pentoxide, liquid sulfur dioxide, triethylamine, sodium hydroxide, trimethyl silyl iodide, zinc oxide among others. Sulfuric acid is the most commonly used acid for commercial lactam production due to its formation of an ammonium sulfate byproduct when neutralized with ammonia. Ammonium sulfate is a common agricultural fertilizer providing nitrogen and sulfur. Reaction Mechanism the hydroxyl group of the oxime initially protonated upon treatment with protic acid to give an oxonium derivative which can easily lose a water molecule. The migration of the substituent R together with the bonding electrons and loss of water proceed simultaneously. The cationic species thus formed reacts with water to give the iminol which tautomerizes to a more stable amide tautomer that is the N substituted carboxylic amide. Synthetic Applications an industrial synthesis of paracetamol developed by host Kalanis involves the conversion of a methyl ketone to an acetanilide via a Beckman rearrangement. The Beckman rearrangement is also used in the synthesis of dihydroepiandrosterone, benazepril, sephoranide, elanzepine, 17 azaprogesterone, elantrine, prazepine, enprazepine, and etazepine. Determination of configuration of ketoxymes. From the products of hydrolysis of the amide, the structure of the amide is known and for that matter, the configuration of the oxime is known. For instance, the two isomers namely syn and anti-isomers of ketoxymes invariably give rise to the formation of altogether different amides upon hydrolysis as given here. It may be stated that R1 is not the same as R2. Thus, the syn ketoxime under the influence of catalyst that is phosphorus pentachloride yields an amide which on treatment with a mole of water gives each mole of carboxylate and an amide thereby showing the critical migration of both R1 and R2 groups. In the synthesis of non-natural codeine in the late stages of the total synthesis, it was necessary to install a six-membered piperidine moiety. This transformation was accomplished utilizing a Beckman rearrangement of the cyclopentanone oxime portion of one of the intermediates. Later, six-membered lactam was reduced to the corresponding amine with lithium aluminium hydride. To this end, an oxime brosylate was prepared which underwent a smooth Beckman rearrangement in acetic acid to provide a 69% yield of two isomeric lactams in an 11 is to 1 ratio in favor of the desired isomer. In the synthesis of Spartine, a novel variant of the photo Beckman rearrangement was utilized in the end game of the total synthesis of Spartine. The hydroxylamine was generated in situ and reacted intramolecularly with the ketone to form a nitrone. Photolysis of the nitrone afforded the desired lactam in good yield. In the synthesis of quinoline derivatives, 
NS Money and co-workers utilized the Argono aluminium promoted modified Beckman rearrangement during their efficient synthetic route to chiral 4 alkyl 1,2,3,4 tetrahydroquinoline. 4 ethyl 1,2,3,4 tetrahydroquinoline was obtained by rearrangement of the ketoxime sulfonate of 3 ethyl indane 1 own. The resulting 6 membered lactam product was reduced to the corresponding cyclic secondary amine with diisobutyl aluminium hydride. In the synthesis of isoquinoline, Isoquinoline is synthesized from cinnamaldehyde. Cinnamaldehyde on treatment with phosphorus pentoxide forms an intermediate which upon dehydration forms isoquinoline. In the synthesis of lactams, helicyclic ketones of all ring sizes undergo the Beckman rearrangement of their oxymes to yield lactams. A product of considerable industrial importance is perlon, a valuable textile polymer which is prepared from epsilon caprolactam. This is obtained by the Beckman rearrangement of a cyclohexone oxime. It is synthesized from a phenol as shown here. Similarly, cyclopentanone oxime gives 2 piperidone under Beckman condition. Aldoxymes under the Beckman reaction conditions undergo dehydration to nitriles. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the Beckman rearrangement reaction. In the next lesson, we will discuss the Schmidt reaction. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.